love this time of the year. Yes. Because this time of the year, October, the Lord saved me and my wife. Amen. And, and then uh, October, November, and December, I was just seeking God for the Holy Ghost. And i never forget January the 2nd on a Sunday night. In 1972, the Lord baptized me with the precious Holy Ghost. Woo! And I can tell you where I was three years ago on an airplane headed to Seattle. <laughs> and the Holy Ghost opened up two doors, two churches we'd never been. They didn't know we was coming. We just went, God moved. Yes, <laughs> and you know, I can remember the things of God. Yeah. I can't tell you where it was two years ago. I can't tell you where I was last year, but I know the manifestation of God, you'll never forget the places that God moved. salvation first but uh, he he saved me sanctified me filled with me filled me with the Holy Ghost and he healed my body and right. that's just been one time out of the many that he's done it but that's I thank right. him for, for amen. saving me and healing me. amen hey man I like that that's just one time one one thing one time of many <laughs> you know God's been good to us he sure has Hallelujah. somebody else want to testify John well, I just thank the Lord for everything He's done for us. 
You know, that song says, I would not be denied. That's right. And uh, that tells us not to give up. That's Whether right. Whether it be spiritually God. or physically healing or what, whatever it is. You, you know, we're not going to be denied until it happens, until something good happens for us. Right. I just thank the Lord for everything He's done for us. and Everything. Um, you know, Psalms uh, 1829 says, I feel like I can run through a troop and leap over a wall. <laughs> Amen. I'll tell you what, uh, the Lord's been good to us. And sometimes I feel like that, and I just feel like pressing on. Amen. And y'all just pray for us. Amen. Amen. Feel like I can run through a troop. Now, that's feeling good. Amen. That's feeling good spiritually. Y'all yes. know when you get anointed, your eyes and your ear, everything. Things just works perfectly. <laughs> Amen. You know, I'm nothing without the Spirit of God. Amen. Somebody else want to testify? Amen. Next. <laughs> I know everybody's got testimony. You thought it was fit calling you, wouldn't you, Cameron? I've been awesome. <laughs> All right. All right, let's sing. Worship the Lord. How many come to church tonight to have a good time in the Lord? That's the only good time you'll have on this earth is in the Lord.
rest for us. We've been camping in Canaan. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 Somebody's traveling needs God right now. God, you know, come on, Jesus. Lord, I tell you, in Jesus' name. Well, I feel the sweet Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Fix it, Lord. Glory to God. Help him, Lord. In Jesus' name. Shanda. Whoever you are, the Holy Ghost is just praying for you. Glory to his name. Lord, I don't know why I feel led to say this. Glory to his name. Because it looks so dark. Matter of fact, it's so discouraging if you'll listen Jesus. to the devil. Jesus. Somebody closed their church this weekend because of people being with their family. Thanksgiving Day. <coughs> Scared. I'm talking about a Pentecostal oh, church. Jesus. Scared to death. That somebody in the church family got the corona. So they closed the church down this morning and tonight. Hallelujah. I, I just lived in Jesus. So let me tell you a little bit about him. I thank God for his protection of our people. And a lot of lots of others. Hallelujah. And I want to thank all of you. We love your name. I feel led to say this Jesus. for your support. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. The money, your prayers, most of all, your support to keep the gospel going. And the gospel is going to continue to go oh, yes. forward. Yes. I'm looking forward to getting out. Hallelujah. I believe with everything within me, God's not through with you or me and my family. I believe, uh, hallelujah, I just felt the sweetness of the Lord come all over me. I'm looking forward to getting out and letting somebody know there's a higher power that he, just like that song, let me tell you about Jesus. He took all your sorrows, all your burdens. It's your will. Yes. You know, Amen. we got neighbors. They, they got, they, 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 they're on a crutch of alcohol. Something bad has happened in their lives. So they turn to the alcohol, drugs, and the things of this world. But let us tell you about Jesus. It's not too late. It's not too dark. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know why I'm saying what I'm saying. But I'm looking forward of us getting out and telling other people. And I thank God for these cameras here tonight. Amen. We hear them all along. People are watching. And I appreciate it. But most of all, we need your prayers. I'm looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward to going to Jacksonville. I'm looking forward to getting out far and near. You know, it ain't the time to pull ourselves into our shell like a turtle or a gopher. It's time to get out. Hallelujah. Let the people know there's a more excellent way. My wife got to tell me on the way home. All right, we got home. What? More? What, what excellent way? What, what's any better than this? But they are. There's an excellent way for you. How if you seek God for the gift, seek God. Seek ye first Him, the kingdom of God, 
in His righteousness. Hallelujah. God will make a, 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 a clean, right, excellent way for you. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Luke. Matthew, Mark, Luke. Chapter 4, verse 18. Hallelujah. I thank God for the anointing. Yes. That's what we've been feeling here. Hallelujah. This morning, God just blessed us. And tonight, He's already blessed us with His anointing. I don't know why people don't want the anointing of God. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus himself had to have the anointing. He was just as much God as he was man. But the man of Jesus had to have the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Luke chapter 4 verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Now this is Jesus talking. Why? Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Jesus. 100% God. God in flesh. There's no doubt that Jesus was God in flesh. It's the Bible. You need to read John chapter 1. You'll find out that the word of God, that Jesus spoke the world into existence. The word of God was made flesh. That's who the Son of God is. But while he was on the earth, he had to have the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. I want to read it again. I want to keep reading it until we get it. Do you and I get it? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Who is the Spirit of God? Oh, Jesus. And why? Because He anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Amen. Jesus. You know, our president right now, a billionaire, and a lot of billionaires, multi-billionaires, but they poor and don't know it. They're poor in spirit. So the gospel is for them. The, the rich we call. But I'm so glad that Jesus loves us poor folks. Hallelujah. They have a song out, I'm a poor, poor, rich man. How can we be poor and rich, Sister Angie? Hallelujah. Poor in money. Poor in a lot of things. Poor in health. You can be rich, but poor in a lot of things. <laughs> and I didn't intend to preach on this, being poor. But you know what? Jesus loved the poor because he made a whole lot of us. There's a lot more poor people on the earth than they are rich. But thank God the gospel is for the poor. How, how can you be poor and rich at the same time? I'm poor. But yet, I'm rich. I'm rich in faith. I'm rich in love. I got more than my share. Hallelujah. I'm a millionaire. Amen. Not physically, not money-wise, millionaire, but spiritually. Heavenly Father, we thank you Hallelujah, for what we felt in your house this morning. It's God, we thank you for taking over the church services. Hallelujah. And God, we thank you for what we feel here right now. Tonight, God, you be good. And we thank you for it. Every day, we thank you. Every day is thanksgiving to the Christian. God, I'm asking Lord to heal those that are hurting. God, those that are watching, those that are here. God, I'm asking you to bring healing. Hallelujah. God, the soul, most of all, mind and body. In Jesus' name, help us, Lord, to preach for a few moments. If you don't help us, nobody else will or can. 
Hallelujah. And I want the church and those who are watching to stretch your hands towards me. I've asked the lost to pray for me before church. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you again and again to touch us. God, touch us one more time. Move on your people, Lord. Draw them. God, like you drew the animals into the ark of safety. God, I'm asking you, Lord, let the Spirit of God draw people back. Hallelujah. Draw them to an old fashioned altar. Hallelujah. Repent. And do their first works over. Hallelujah. The backsliders, those that are cold. Save them. Those that once was on fire, now they look warm. Restore them. You come on us, In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You may be seated. I'm telling you, I'd like to preach a few moments on the anointed. Hallelujah. The anointed. Well, I got, I'd like to ask you a question. What is the anointing? Can anybody here shout it out? What is the anointing? We pray that God anoint the singers, anoint the musicians, anoint the testifiers, anoint the missionaries, the prophets, the apostles, the teachers, the evangelists. God anoint the pastors. God anoint. What is the anointing? The Spirit. Hallelujah. It's the Spirit of God. Jesus said the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the Lord is the anointing. Jesus, God, we need that, Lord. Amen. The wife got on it this one son. I think there's not a gift without the Spirit of God. Right. You know, the world has talent, but they used it for the wrong reason. Yes. But you can have talent, but not have the anointing. That's right. You can sing good. You can play good. You can be an excellent speaker. You can be real good. You can be trained to do anything. But you know that in the 14th chapter of 1 Corinthians, it said, I was saying with the understanding. That's not anointed. Or oh, I was saying in the Spirit also. I will pray with the understanding, he said. But I will pray in the Spirit also. That's the anointed. Jesus. Glory to God. God will take somebody that is saved, sanctified, baptized in the Holy Ghost. And when they get up to say, God anoint them. If God don't anoint them, it's with the understanding. They're doing it on their own abilities or what they've been taught. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm feeling this tonight. Bless him, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You know, you hear that word anointing all the time. They was anointed. What do you mean? You pray for the anointing. You know what? I'd rather sit down right now or go all the way to the back of this church and sit down if God don't anoint me to preach. Jesus said the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach. To preach, not teach. I'm not a teacher. But to preach the gospel. What is the gospel? It's the good news. Yes, Jesus. You don't have to live the way you live. That's right. God can save you. That's right. And every promise that's recorded in God's word is for you. Yes. Oh no, not me. Yes. Oh yes, you. Yes. But you've got to be saved. Every promise in the word of God is for you and I. Yes. Glory to God. Ain't God good? He is. Hallelujah. I feel led to say something that I said last week. Yes. How many loves children? Yes, amen. Don't go to hell, because they're going to be the first child in hell. Lord Jesus, Jesus. They're all going to be in heaven. Jesus, Jesus. And if you look warm, Jesus is going to spit you out. Oh, God. My Lord, you need, you need the gospel. You need the good news. You need, you need the word of God. And not only just a hearer, but a doer. Hallelujah. The anointing, it is. Now the Holy Ghost is not it. 
Amen. But it is the Holy Ghost. That's the anointing, the Spirit of God. Yes. Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yes. Well, that's great. All through the Old Testament, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God. You know, Samson was a sissy. Yeah, he couldn't even, he couldn't even go to Timnath to get a wife without his mommy and daddy. You know, he was still in riddles. Baby talk. But the Bible says when the Philistines, the enemy came against him, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. Yes. But you and I thank God for Jesus. He's in us. <laughs> Glory to God. He just ain't on us. Yeah, he gets on us and he makes us do little wild things. <laughs> he'll make you shout. He'll make you get excited. He'll make you laugh and cry all at one time. He'll make you jump up and down with excitement. And let me tell you something, if a football game excites you and Jesus don't, you're not even saved. Oh, I tell you the greatest thing on the face of the earth is salvation. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What's your favorite name? What's your favorite name in the Word of God? Hallelujah. My wife's got favorite names for earthly girls. She's like Emily. And different names I've heard. I like certain names. But what is your favorite name? Jesus. Shout it. Jesus. Amen. Well, I just felt the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Hallelujah. Shout that name one more time. Jesus. Yes. Well, glory to God. There's no other name. There's power Jesus. in the name. Hallelujah. Jesus. He did it all for us. He died on the cross. He became the supreme sacrifice. All through the Old Testament, they had to have a lamb or a ram without a blemish. If they had a little brown or black or, or blemish on it, no good. It had to be totally blemished. No, no blemish. Hmm? Jesus was without sin. Yes, he was. He had no blemish. And God wants us, you and I, to be holy people. Because of Him, we can live for God. He's coming back for a glorious church. Not one that's uh, saying grace covers it all. I was telling the family on, on the way to church tonight, there's a few scriptures that uh, lukewarm or hypocrites, they love. They love it over there in John where we all have sin and you know, we're all human. We've all had sin and come short of glory. That's right. Mm -hmm. But all my sins is put in the sea of forgiveness and I sin no more. You need to read ahead and you need to believe me not. That man has sinned, he don't even know God. A man sinned, he's of the devil. Right. So you can quote all those scriptures you want to. There's no for, therefore no condemnation. Yeah, but the, the, the believer, believers they're not. Amen. But the hypocrites they are. Amen. There's condemnation. Yes. And God will condemn you. Yes. Amen. You need to get in the book. Yes. Amen. He's coming back for a glorious church. One without spot or without blemish. Oh, God. you got a blemish, you're going to have to attend the tribulation. Oh, God. You're going to have to give your life for Christ's sake to make it. But blessed are they that are holy and have part of the first resurrection. Yeah. I, I, want to, I want to have a clean slate. Yes. But it's because of Jesus that we can. I'm trying my best to preach on the anointing. Yes. Glory to God. Turn with me to Acts chapter 10 verse 38. I love chapter 2 verse 38. But I love Acts chapter 10 verse 38. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you there? Are you there? I can't wait. Are you there? You got it? Glory to God. How God anointed Jesus. Jesus. Of <laughs> Nazareth. But not just a, a man named Jesus. There are a lot of Spanish people named Jesus. Or spelt like that. Jesus. Jesus. They went in. With the Holy Ghost. Jesus was anointed by God. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Yes. That's the anointing. Who went about doing good. You know, if you get anointed, you 
going to do good. And healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Oh. Jesus. You know that old devil, he's oppressing people and possessing people. Hallelujah. Can I read it again? Read it. I'm the pastor. I think I will. <laughs> I don't have no board telling me what I can do. What I, I got one. His name is Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Acts 10, verse 38. How God upon anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power Praise God. who went about doing good and even all that were oppressed of the devil. Praise God. For God was with him. I tell you, if God's not with you, you might as well keep your mouth shut. Oh God, help us all. Right. Hallelujah. Jesus. But it's God's Spirit, the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. That empowers people. Isaiah chapter 10. Hallelujah. Verse 27. Listen to this. You know, there's a lot of people oppressed of the devil. Come on. There's a lot of people that's got a yoke of iron Mama. on their neck. Yes. They might stand tall, but yet they got a yoke. Oh, hold them. That's why they're in drugs. You know, it's the yoke that's got your loved ones in drugs and on alcohol. Jesus. They can't lift their head because of that yoke of iron. Oh, God. But Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, the yoke shall be destroyed Glory. because of the anointing. Glory. The yoke Whatever God, right. your loved one, your sons and granddaughters and grandsons and bow. Yes. It's going to Glory take the to anointing. God. Amen. Help us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, I don't, yeah. I'm Glory trying not to, to preach this in tongues. Jesus. It's better to speak five words of understanding than 10,000 words. Hallelujah. And no, no tongue. Amen. Jesus. In the church, there's people that don't know that language, that holy language. Right. Glory to God that they need to hear it in whatever, wherever you are. If you sit in a Spanish country, preach in Spanish. You in Russia, preach in Russia. You in Japanese, preach, preach in Japanese. I don't know where we're here in America, and I'm going to try my best to preach English. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. She didn't come up Bless him, Lord. But there was a while the sweet Holy Hallelujah. He will. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. The yoke mm. shall be destroyed <laughs> because of the anointing. I'm preaching on the anointing. Not for me to get up here and play a musical instrument and let everybody praise me or sing or preach. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus said, going back to Luke, 4 verse 18, he said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anointed me to preach. You can't sing. You can't play. Oh, yes, you can, but it won't be anointed. You can't witness. You can't do nothing without the anointing of God upon you. Jesus. That's what makes people, when you sing, come up to you. Hallelujah. And tell you, God just set them free. Yes, yes, yes. Or when you preach or what testify, yes. whatever you do, it must be anointed or it won't be effective. You can witness, you can invite people to your church and to your programs until you're blue in the face. And they might even come to church with you. But if nobody gets anointed, they're not going to be made free. They're not going to be set free. They're going to come bound. They're going to leave bound. Oh, Lord. I don't want that. Do you? I want to see people set free. Amen. Hallelujah. First John, quickly, chapter 2, verse 27. Hallelujah. I want you to get it tonight. Or if you're watching, I want you to get it. I want you to turn to First John. Not St. John, 1 John. Go to Revelation, go back to Jude, and then go to 3rd, 2nd, 1st John. All right? Hallelujah. But the anointed. 
Jesus. You see that? Jesus. Which you have received of him abideth in you. Jesus. Who's in you? The Spirit of God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Then you can receive the anointing if you'll pray. Help us, Lord. You know, I don't like to preach before I go into a pulpit here or there, wherever that is. Help us, Lord. I pray. I pray at home. Sometimes I pray. And when we visit in churches, I usually find me a Sunday school class or somewhere in the back. And I pray because Wanda, I know I'm not affected. I can't help nobody, but I can sure tell somebody about somebody. And his name is Jesus when he anoints you. It pay you singers to pray before you sing. It pay, it pay you teachers to pray before you teach. I mean, you witnesses on the job in the school, wherever you are, you need to pray and God will get into what you say. You preachers need to rear back on your heels and preach what God lays on your heart. But you not you got to pray. But the anointing which you have received. So that let me know you can have it. You, you can receive it. Of him abideth in you. Hallelujah. Now let's go back to Luke 4 verse 18. Can you slip your hands up and praise the Lord? Praise his name. You can't do that enough. Praise his name. Thank you, Lord. Lord I like to reread things when you feel the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Now here's the rest of it. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. How many people has got broken hearts? Yes. That's left the church. Yes. And let me tell you something, George Jones or anybody other Jones can't help you. That country do they gonna heal your heart, your broken heart. The only one that can do it is Jesus, Jesus. the anointing, the anointer. Hallelujah. Jesus. You're broken. Hearted to preach deliverance. Yes. Deliverance. Yes. To the captives. Thank you, Lord. Captives of what, Ronnie? Brother Massey? Yes. Drugs. Yes. Alcohol. Everything. Yes. Pornography. Yes. Whatever the devil has got you into captivity. Yes. Oh, God. And recovering of the sight. Of the blind, Jesus. physically and spiritually. Yes. Jesus said, "You have eyes to see with, but see not." That's right. They can't. They, they don't. You know, the world don't understand why we go to church. Amen. Right. Amen. And even do, during the uh, coronavirus, yes, dear God. when people stay home because of the fear of getting it. But yet they get up Monday morning, go to work, cut work. They go to Walmart. Yeah. Right. Jesus, Jesus. Right. Well, I wear a mask. When I go to work, well, I wear a mask. But go to church. Jesus. Ain't nobody in our church has got the coronavirus. So far, I thank God. Well, the same anointer will heal you. He'll break that yoke. Can you say amen? Yes, he will. Hallelujah. And recovering yes. of the sight of the blind. Jesus. To set at liberty. All this is because of the anointing liberty. on Jesus. Yes. On Jesus. On Jesus. If he had to have it, what do you think you and I have to have? Help us, Lord. To set at liberty to them that are bruised. Help us, Jesus. How many have been bruised oh, dear God. spiritually? Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Notice here in this one verse now, number one, the gospel. The preach the gospel, which is the good news. You don't have to stay in that condition. You don't have to be in captivity. That's right. You don't have to have that yoke of iron on your neck. Thank you, Lord. You know, some people can't look up because they got a yoke. They're in bondage. Hallelujah. Number two, deliverance. All of this, Jesus said, because the anointing was upon him. He didn't say because of me. 
He said, the anointing. And I told you what the Holy, the, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, is the anointing. Oh, help us, God. Number three, the broken in heart. Jesus. Mine, Jesus. a lot of people's mind is broken. Yes. Their soul is broken. Jesus. And body. Mind, soul, and body. Jesus. We need the anointing. Yes, Number four, the blind. Blind in body. Yeah, people need to try to die so but physically. And we have seen that. Not enough. <laughs> and their soul is blind. Jesus. And their spirit is blind. Jesus. Also these that's in darkness. Believe it or not, your loved ones does not say everybody's not saved is in darkness. That's right. You don't you don't come out of darkness until uh, until into his marvelous light light until you be saved. That's right. And woe the Christians are like damn lights. Oh, First thing I did when I well I better not say because they saw them not be watching. I screwed the light bulb without the board's permission and went and bought. 200 watt light bulbs and we replaced every one of them. The house of God is supposed to be a lighthouse. Oh, yes, Jesus. Bars. Have you ever wondered why bars, you, think you can't hardly see them? Because men love darkness right. because of the evil deeds. Yes. That's right. I like light. Go by my house. You, you think we're a city. <laughs> At night, it's lit up. <laughs> I tell you what, we need to light our souls. Yes, we do. Jesus said we're the light of the world. Help us, God. We're light. We're not darkness. Right. We're not in darkness. We yes. came out of darkness. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. The bruised. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Spiritually bruised. Yes. I ain't going back to that church because somebody hurt me. But they go to Walmart with them. Oh, shut up, Ronnie. Jesus. Preach, okay? Jesus. Hallelujah. Be completely, those that are bruised, those that are completely crushed. You know, there's people that's crushed. Yes, yes. You know, coming out of High City right before you get to 98 on Clubhouse Road, somebody busted a big bottle, a big one, because it's crushed. It's no longer usable. It's just a pile of glass crushed because of cars going over it crushed it. There's a lot of people's soul, spirit, not only is broken. You know, something broken can be put back together. Crushed. Man can't put it together. Like our daughter wrote that song. It's like a mixed up ball of string. But guess who? Glory to God. We got on that this morning. Hallelujah. Things that man can't do, but you know, it's just not natural. How God does it, the impossible. Amen. God can take that crushed glass all to a million pieces and put every bit of it back Amen. <laughs> I tell you, there's a lot of people Amen. that's crushed spiritually. I feel this oh, Lord. I feel the anointing. If you're in Christ, turn to Jesus. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Those that are crushed and shattered. Yes. In life, the oppressed and broken. Jesus, dear God. The anointing is for all of those things that I just mentioned and more. That's it. Go on. Go, 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 go. That's it. I'm through. Your time. That's it. I've done what God told me to do. Now what you going to do about hearing the word of God? Well, if I was in church, those that are watching, if I was in church, I'd go to your altar. Well, make an altar where you are. If you're ashamed, your companion is not saved, go to the back room. Get on your knees. God help us. You know, it's one thing to hear the Word of God, but it's up to you to do something about it. Amen. You need to pray and ask God. Yes. Just like it was brought out this morning about the gifts. You need to pray Jesus. for every one of them. Yes. And you need to pray for the anointing. Yes. 
Hallelujah. When you don't have nothing else to pray for, pray for me. If you don't want the anointing, will you please pray? I, God just pour out the anointing. Hallelujah. Like the Niagara Falls. Just let it pour. Let it gush out like an artesian well. I want all the anointing. I need. I need all the anointing. Why don't we make it 100% come to the altars or near where you are? And let's pray. I told them this morning the church needs to be called the house of prayer. Oh God, help us. God, I preach tonight a very heavy heart because I know that a lot of people claim to be anointed. They said, oh, I was anointed tonight. Well, they was anointed. They would never be anointed if they smacked them in the face. Oh, God, we need the true anointed. How are saying it? God, these that are praying, God, hear their cry. Oh, God, give them the desires of the heart. 